Welcome to Wombat Exchange. If you are not familiar with this protocol, I would like to introduce you um, to the protocol and the ongoing WOM wars. This is a very exciting part, but before we get into the wars, you should understand what is the Wombat Exchange protocol. Many of us became familiar with this protocol as they launched through the PancakeSwap IFO back in August. This has been a very successful exchange and we've all greatly enjoyed to meet the founders and the moderators that make this project happen. Why is Wombat Exchange important? I think I illustrated this well in a Twitter post. We can think of the uh, liquidity in BNB chain or any other ecosystem as water pipes under your SimCity. Uh, you want that water to flow to the users and to the buildings. Maybe you think uh, stable swap is not attractive. These coins do not appreciate in value. In fact, they are some of the top market cap coins. They are very much used through by crypto users. The users like them, the liquidity providers like them, and so do the protocols need them. Uh, user may feel more confident in one coin than the other, or an LP or a protocol may have a great opportunity with one coin as opposed to another. So they want to make a stable swap and they do not want to lose any percentage in uh, slippage. So as I said earlier, this benefits not just users, but also protocols. If you think of the water pipes, there are houses, there's businesses, there's utilities. All of them need to have free flowing water. They don't need the water to be gummed up. And you could think of the slime um, in the plumbing as slippage that we have in BNB chain. And then that's why I illustrate here that uh, Alex, the founder of Wombat Exchange, he's like Mario working uh, very hard on his algorithm and protocol to be able to reduce the slippage for BNB chain. So let me illustrate some of the slippage that we might see in BNB chain, um, and we'll compare uh, Wombat Exchange with some of its competitors. Get to the right tab here. Okay, let's do a swap. Let's say we're swapping USDC for BUSD, and you're a small user for $1,000 that you wanna swap. So we see in slippage that we might lose about 12 cents. So let's compare that with a competitor, uh, pancake swap. So $1,000 that you're swapping from USDC to BUSD, and that's where we see some of that slime, this 2% that you would, or $2 that you would lose in slippage as a user. And we'll look also at buy swap, and we see here you could lose um, almost $5, $4.74 in your um, exchange. Now take this on a bigger scale as a protocol, and you need to do uh, $100,000 that you need to swap. Okay, here, $12 in slippage, um, and we maybe compare that to now to pancake swap. We see it's almost $500 in slippage or buy swap. Um, this is, uh, quite not good. Um, uh, some $30,000 that we, we could lose in, uh, slippage and price impact for making that exchange. So both users and protocols, this is what they would like. They want low slippage on their um, stable coin exchange. You don't want to bleed money through your swaps. So how has Wombat Exchange been performing since their protocol has started? Uh, this is my favorite page, which is their, their analytics. Uh, we can see here some really good trends. They are continuing to grow in the liquidity that's available as people continue to add to the, the pools on their website. Uh, also, if we look at the volume, you can look it on a daily basis and we can see this nice trend up in the volume. Um, and we can see the same thing on uh, weekly or here. I like this uh, monthly view and we can really see this nice trend from whenever they launched on PancakeSwap. And then we see September and October even doing greater and greater volume. This is how they succeed as a, as a protocol. We also see this really healthy number, 59% of the circulating supply being locked. That is very good for the, for the price of the token. It also tells us users are really putting their WAM token to, to work. And how they are doing so, many of them um, have locked their uh, WAM to get VWAM, to get a, a boost to any of the pools that they're using on Wombat Exchange. However, 
if you are a user that does not have a large bag of WAM tokens to, to lock on the, uh, on the Wombat exchange, but you still want to get boosted APR, now enter the WAM Wars. You can select one of the warriors from Magpie, Wombex, or Qual. Now, these protocols are each gathering as much WAM token as they can. They want users to come in, convert their WAM to their, their uh, local locked WAM token. Uh, essentially, they will lock your token for you, and then they will give you, respectively, MWAM, WM, WMX WAM, or the, the uh, QWAM. And all of these tokens show that you have a uh, locked token on this protocol. Now, because the protocol is collecting the WAM tokens for the users, they're able to offer these boosted APRs uh, because it's as if you had, even if you don't, you don't have to lock any WAM, you don't have to lock any uh, Magpie, but you still can benefit from the boosted APRs from the collective locked WAM tokens on this protocol. So as each uh, protocol locks these tokens, this is a great benefit for liquidity providers and also WAM holders, because as a WAM holder, you can expect a positive impact to the price of your token as more users are holding it, as more users are locking it into these protocols, um, and as the protocols are working hard to gather as much WAM as they can. So, um, if you evaluate which warrior that you would like to side with, uh, Magpie, Wombex, and Qual, you'll see that all three are quite similar, but there's just some nuances that will help you to make your choice. Uh, Wombex launched first on IF, uh, through the IFO on PancakeSwap. Um, to be honest, they had a bit of a rocky start with the, uh, the UI of their website there was some display errors, but they have worked really hard to make this uh, uh, running more efficiently now, uh, displaying correct numbers. And they were very brave to be the first of the warriors to, to launch and get their website out to the community. To distribute their tokens, they use this bootstrap event. Hopefully you've already been participating in it. It is coming to an end. This was a two week period where those who converted their WAM tokens to WMX WAM would be able to uh, receive these rewards, the WMX token, their, their governance token. Uh, so um, then we also have Qual, which has their upcoming launch. Um, and we will, uh, perhaps you'll be taking part in, in that one. They have, instead of a bootstrap, they have a, an airdrop that you're able to use. You essentially get 10 Quo tokens for each WAM that you convert. And we see here, um, for every WAM converted during their warm-up party, you receive 10 Quo, and the release schedule will be announced within one week after Qual financed full launch. This is extra rewards for early birds um, only. And we, of course, can find more details. Now I'll go to uh, my favorite, which is the uh, Magpie protocol. This is the warrior that I've chosen to side with. I very much enjoy the uh, usability of their website. Everything is, is smooth. Um, I, I, I like that. It's a simple appearance. Everything loads quite well. What I greatly appreciate and why I decided to convert my WAM to their protocol is that as a MWAM holder, you get a revenue share. So in this case, you can see you get a percentage of these various tokens, which I think this is a great benefit as a um, someone who is long the Wombat token and Wombat exchange. You know, why not? as you hold it, continue to get additional uh, APR. However, if you are using any one of these protocols and you are converting uh, your, your WAM to perhaps MWAM or let's highlight WMX WAM, keep this in mind, the note here, converting to WMX WAM is irreversible. So within this protocol, once you lock to WMX WAM, the Wombex finance does not have a provision for you to bring that back to WAM. So consider that if you 
are saying, well, I want to hold my WAM. I want to sell it at a, a, a time, uh, maybe soon, not too long in the future, then consider whether or not you want to make this lock. So it is irreversible through their protocol. What's your option to get your WAM tokens back um, is by doing a swap. Wombat Exchange has a, has a swap for you. And we can see this pool here. It's one of their, their side pools. And this does allow you to swap from WMX WAM to WAM. However, it's important to note that there needs to be adequate liquidity to, to avoid great percentages of slippage. So currently, the WMX WAM has been struggling with liquidity. The, the team is confident that this is due to the fact that most users have their WMX WAM locked for the bootstrap, and they're very hopeful that once the bootstrap concludes, that the liquidity will be quite healthy and you'll be able to make good swaps in and out of WMX WAM. But this is something to consider as you choose your warrior. Uh, which protocol that you would like to side with, or maybe you choose all of them and you would like to uh, equally support them all. At the heart of all three of these warriors is the central product, which is Wombat Exchange. If Wombat Exchange can continue to be successful, then, then certainly one or maybe all of these uh, warriors, these participating protocols can also be successful. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. Thanks.